Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. As the French. Picking up where we left off, we're invading West Germany. That's the part I actually care about. The rest of Germany, I don't. As soon as we get West Germany, I may just call it off. I may wait till we get Western Poland as well. That'll give us a border with Russia, and we can go poke them. But I'd like to leave Germany around so we can fight them later. Wow, quite a lot of tech this turn. That's minefields too. Evelyn signed with the British. Brazil wants a battleship. Sweden wants a battleship. How does that impact our shipbuilding? As it turns out, not much at all. And still got a long way to go before they irritate us. Did we do the designs that we wanted? We did, 1901. Oh, they broke free. We'll mess with them over there now. Six in West Africa, two in the North Sea. We do have them there. Alright, that's what I thought. There's so many, I guess it's uh, getting a little aggressive. If our ship designs meant to go hunt down cruisers, so should we build two or four? The 80,000 tons Yep, yeah, that's about our limit. And keep ticking along. Alright, much better turn. Got more involved. Center party wins. That'll be an auto resolve. Our transport sunk. Two of our cruisers against one of theirs. Or they're also bigger, which is a little strange. Close up, it's been a long time since we've seen this design. The two six inch and then four four inch on each side and then that broad side of effectively three inches. 
as well as the torpedoes, and there we go, we've spotted them. Weather is reasonably well. smoke so will we and we're slowly exposing additional batteries actually I'm gonna go for normal torpedoes Looks like they have just broadside. Yeah. Let's get a hard turn in here. See if we can launch that bow torpedo. We're going to be a little too far away, so I don't think that's going to happen. It should make us a hard target as we go and get ready to launch our side torpedoes. That should finish them off. Yeah, they're all done. Wow. That was nice and quick. Poland signs with us, and we gain control of Angola. That frees us up. Uh, we can try to immediately piggyback and invade Southwest Africa, which will give us a border with Britain. Or we can split up the fleet in preparation for hunting down German ships that are all over the place at this point. Let's see what the... Oh, we can't do it yet. We'll have to wait. We'll have to see what an invasion looks like, though. Actually, that's true. We have Kiel now. But this is a blocker to prevent them from going through the Baltic Sea. So I'm going to leave this fleet here rather than moving them into this port. Maybe move the cruisers there. These are our mine layers. seen in a while. By raw size of fleet, since the cruiser actions have been significant. Abreast? No, we will go ahead. You follow, follow the battle line. Tighten up formation. There we go. Belarus class getting ready to take names. Mm, even better environmentals than last time. Going right to the left. 7 kilometers. Let's 
eight inch are the ones that I actually have a decent chance to hit. And the 12 do too. Those are their heavy cruisers there. I'm gonna get broadside. Slow it down. I want Cervante. Focus on that one. Belarus. Focus on the second line. Switch over to the cruisers. Well, both of them focus on this light cruiser back here. No, oh, I love it. Bunch of 8 inch. Here's the next salvo. And flooding. In the bow. A couple of hits on the Hansa, now flooding in aft steering. More flooding, it's getting a little bit more progressive. Funnel. I don't have many to spare. Vipinizer now. Not too bad. Amazone. Rapid flooding from the rear. Oh, nice. Vipinizer now. Now rapid flooding. Maybe the first one to go down with that lucky hit. is going down rapidly. You can't keep up. Amazone slowly flooding from the rear. Alright, Hanza is down. Let's focus on S22. Belarus has to finish the Gneisenau. now. Cruisers have to finish the Amazon. Well, with them diving in like this, I'll fo refocus on the Colbert. There we go. Hopefully, that takes care of the Gnais now. has been steady on the Gneisenau. now. There we go, Colbert done. I'm gonna shift the cruisers to the Amazonian. Colbert is done. That means oh no, guys now is pretty much done. Let the Velarus finish her off.
And time to launch boats and rescue survivors. Two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and a torpedo boat for some light damage. Sweden wants a pair of destroyers, Poland wants a pagode. Angola to northern Rhodesia, no need for an invasion. Oh, no, nope. Rhodesia, right. We want southwest Africa. See what that looks like. Actually, from here, yeah, we we are outnumbered. Heavily outnumbered there. Fairly even on that end. Move these guys down here. Maybe we'll snag some of them as they come in. Looks like they've slipped by our Indonesian blockade. Yep, we're right at the limit for our shipyards. What are we getting here? Anti-flooding too? That'll be nice. There it is, with all of its glory. Invasion of Southwest Africa. Wow. Rapid advance into Western Germany, despite the being outnumbered. What do we need here? 100%. In fact, we way, way outnumber what we need. Tonnage wise, do we need all of this? 20, 40, 70, 80, 90, 100. Yeah, starting another invasion into Tanga. Yiki, Ika. I don't think that's going to be realistic. Nope, we'll fight to the end. Western Germany was our goal. Shared losses. Now at thirty three per cent. And one more turn to get into Southwest Africa. Support from the British, the United States, and the Italians. Economizer, that'll save us some weight and fuel efficiency. Torpedo protection of two. Some 
extra weight and cost for significant defense against torpedoes. Anti-torpedo nets, trading transports, and we gain Southwest Africa. Just outright. We're not going to slow down. Keep it rolling. Nope. We finished our shipyard. Let's keep it rolling. Meeting engagement. That's good. Depending on where. We could lose another ship. Oh my goodness, we have a real fight. I don't think this is a new class. Odin class. At least I'm fairly sure it is. These look bigger than the other ones we've seen. With an escort of cruisers. A real fight. Accelerate time and get it moving. Excellent. Environmentals. Let's see, they're going left to right or right to left. Neither right now. None of these look very similar to the ones we've seen before. At this point, there's just three of those. Or four of those. Stay focused, guys. First blood goes to us, damaging the funnel of second in line. We are down to six kilometers, we're going to get full broadside. And let them close with us. Cruisers will focus on whatever that is. Looks like it's probably a heavy cruiser or something. It might be one of the light ones though. There was smoke over there. some 60% now that we're down to 4.5 kilometers. Right about where we want to be. Their accuracy is abysmal. Ooh, low quality armor too. Destroy the funnel or the partial thing. Some flooding up in the bow. Looks 
like we gotta hit on the cruiser. Rapid sledding. Torpedo detonation on the one of the battleships. Another torpedo detonation. Bumber flooding quite significant. Both of them up forward. Spurberg is done. Focused on the Veneta. Flooding aft steering on the Olden Bird. Continue our turn. Down below four kilometers now, three point seven. Come on, hit. All right, we destroyed a funnel. It should significantly affect their ability to accelerate. A lot of ricochets. With the eight inch, twenty four percent chance. With oh, come on, we gotta keep all the guns. Don't switch targets on me. Is a little far. 6.6 kilometers. We'll switch to the Wartenberg. As we approach 3 kilometers now. Yep. It seems they're targeting our heavy cruisers. We'll continue our turn. We got a main tower hit. And multiple hits with the main battery as she turned broadside to us. Making the main belt vulnerable for penetrations all across. We now having a bad day. There we go. Multiple floodings. I think the West Fallen is done. Just a matter of time. Main battery. Destroy them. Flash fire, she done. Focus on the working birds. And we'll get our cruisers to refocus on the Strasbourg. Nice hits on the working bird. Major flooding. Half engine room. Maybe enough to do her in. Let's cut in again. Ah, no hits. We are 
are combining fire, which is giving us some malice to accuracy, but it shouldn't be too major. Also flooding, major flooding up forward. Look for the working bird. Finally, we finished off. Focus on Kaiser Barbarossa. Actually, split fire. Belarus will take on the Oldenburg. I think Straussburg is done. And the heavy cruisers can focus on their heavy cruisers. Oh, nice hits on the Oldenburg. Flash fire. room and forward engine depending on exactly where her engine compartment is judging by the funnels it's kind of up forward a little bit more makes room for that mid turret Veneta seems to be doing fine is effective. Main battery, flooding up forward. Major flooding up forward. Not enough to ruin our day yet. A couple more hits and we are close now. More flooding looks like after torpedo um, detonation. I think this is this is it for the Kaiser. And there she goes. All targets on Veneta now. has her fire control. There we go, she's done. Another 
highly successful test for our modern battleships. Not even double digit victory points for Germany for the damage they did to us. Good progress on West Germany. Looks like we'll get East Germany before them. Alright, they're going up and around. I'm gonna move these guys down here. To the Strait of Gibraltar. These ones are coming around. Germany may be a Pacific Empire here shortly. Got a little bit of space. So we might be able to get a couple, squeeze a couple destroyers in there. They're 900 tons, I think. All right. We have a few enemies. Makes sense, since we've had some of the press loving us in foreign press. All right, we have an opportunity for electric turrets. Not too concerned. Lost quite a few transports that time. Illegal land has taken up arms. People of Indonesia trying to throw off the Netherlands. Ottomans keeps trans Jordania. Now we're at 50% West Germany, 87% in. West Poland. We're about to be in position in Eastern Africa. We'll get that triggered. But I think right there, I'm going to call it for the time being. Looks like we're going to get a 6,000 ton light cruiser. We are going to get slightly bigger destroyers. Crop 2 armor. Improved annealing, which will help keep weight down. Better control towers. Four large centerline guns. The classic battleship look. Mark 2 13 inch. And then they're working on thin walled shell casings. For a little bit more damage on HE. And torpedo contact exploders for less duds. That's the one I really care about. Cruiser scouting force. Nice. Nice. Love to see how that really impacts things. Naval communications, which I really like this one, since the fleets are maxed out based on crew size. Mine sweeping and detection. A lot of tech coming our way as we catch up on the stuff we left behind. Speaking of size of fleets. That is actually within our fleet limit. That's amazing. But with that, I am going to close it here. I thank you for joining me. Appreciate you staying to the end. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you all next time. Take care, everyone.